Hello, fans, family, friends, my guys and gals, divas and devos. Hello, you're chatting with Real Mamas, the number one mama diva, Gina James, and how are you guys? Um, I wanted to do this one last video for today um, before I, you know, lay it down, pick it up, you know, how I do it. Um, a friend of mine who, uh, if you watch Channel 2 News, you know her very well, Pamela Jones. She's a very good friend of mine. And I was going through her Facebook page. And she was talking about um, how a few of the stories that she had covered, I guess, recently. Um, there were several teenagers that she did stories on. And I guess they were very, you know, belligerent and upset. And she was like, it, it got to the point that it got to her. And she said, if one more kid, one more teenager, you know, disrespects me, you know, curse me out for something that I didn't do and all she's doing is telling their story that she is like going to scream and like going to go crazy. And if you know me, I don't take kindly to disrespecting the team. Bye. Excuse me, if you know, you know, Mama Diva, you know I don't take time to disrespecting teens, disrespecting children. I just, you know, I, that, that's just something that I don't, you know, let go. I can't let that stand. If I'm somewhere, if I'm out somewhere, I've told you guys about the Walmart um, incident. And if I'm somewhere and I see a kid that's being disrespectful, me being a mother of nine, I can't let that ride. I can't let that go. And, um, you know, if... if, if a film crew is out there and they're trying to get your story or whatever and they're interviewing your child I can't understand why it is that you would let them be disrespectful you know to other adults and so I happened to write on her page and I had said you know this stems from parents not being supportive encouraging not showing their child the love and the support that that they crave Kids crave that. Kids crave um, attention. They crave being supervised. They crave being um, um, scolded when they do something wrong. And if you as a parent don't take on your responsibility, guess who it falls back on? It falls back on the rest of us. And um, I, I can understand how someone that's trying to do their job and they're trying to do their job correctly can get frustrated when they come across a disrespecting child and you don't know what it is to do. You don't know how to, how to handle the situation or whatever it is. And my thing is, if, you, if I'm being respectful to you, I want you to be respectful to me. If... Um, you're, I'm interviewing you or whatever and you're, you know, you, you're upset and, 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 and things are bothering you and you being hateful. Well, hell, I didn't do it to you. So don't come at me that way. And when you're a child and you do, you have to put them in their place. You have to let them know. Do not let disrespectful teenage let me tell you something I've been through it all my oldest is 25 and my youngest is six years old I don't even my 25 year old I don't I do not he's grown he can do whatever he wants to do he has his own place or whatever but when he's around me I still demand respect I do not allow him to curse and I'm not saying he does not do it it slips out sometimes but I check him on it I'll call him on it, and he'll say real quick oh my uh, I don't even know what I was thinking I'm sorry you know my fault my fault my bad my bad and that's it's just respect I'm 43 years old I will soon be 44 and um I'm not close to my mom you know at all we didn't have that loving relationship and, and back and forth I'll get into that you know on future videos but um I still respect her and the reason why I respect her is because of the person that brought me in here in this world without her I did would be no Gina I would not be here so I still respect her even though I don't have that motherly feel for her I don't call her by her name. I still call her mom because it's a respect issue. And overall, like I say, you ain't got to like nobody. You ain't got to love them or whatever. But you can still be respectful. And the one thing I cannot stand most is a disrespecting kid. You know, I, there, there was another incident where my, my kids all the time, as you saw my younger daughter ex to use my cell phone and they my kids come in and they'll say mom can I see your cell phone because they like to play the music and do all this stuff and and maybe the other two or three have their phones and the younger ones want to use my phone and everything and one of my daughter's friends called 
would text the phone and thought she was texting her and she wasn't and she had said um which this was around the holiday season or something and I I had responded to her you know you have a blessed Merry Christmas and so she responded back um are you fucking kidding me or crazy or whatever you know what which she thought assumed that she would talk to my daughter but she wasn't she was talking to me and so when I tried you know to let her know that you know you're not talking to her you're talking to her mother this young kid young lady still got belligerent she could not be she could not be apologetic she could not so when you get you know nasty with me I get nasty with you and I told my daughter if I ever see you talk to her be around her or whatever and I'm not saying stay away from her forever but uh, if she can't apologize and if she can't be respectful when she comes, I don't want you around that type of person. And I told that little bitch, which is what she is, because when you act that way and you get to that certain level, I'm going to treat you like how you are. And I told that little bitch, if she ever calls my, my phone again, if she ever comes in contact with my door or whatever it is, I'm going to do what her mother should have done. And I was very serious. I do not play with children. I do not play with teenagers. I do not play with young adults. And when you fucking get disrespectful to me and you want to be belligerent and you want to act a fucking fool and you want to act like a two-year-old baby or you want to act like a nigger out in the street then I'm gonna treat you that way if you want to be respectful and you want to talk to me I'm that mom I'm everybody's mom you can come and talk to me about anything any problems you have any problems you have with your parents any problems you have with someone at school someone out in the street I'm that first mom that will step up and have your back but if you get down to you want to get to the point that you want to be disrespectful because of what somebody else did to you then I got a problem because my bitch I didn't do it to you you know go get the motherfucker that talk that, that, that hurt your feelings you know talk crazy to them give them that attitude give them hell don't do it to me don't do it to Pamela Jones who's trying to do her job don't do it to teachers the good teachers because we're going to get on that subject about these fucked up ass teachers that's having sex with these kids and doing godly I know you know what and, 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 and the parents where's the parents what the fuck is wrong with you that your child can sleep with a grown ass teacher in school and this shit could go on and on and on and you don't know shit about it that's saying something that goes on at home it's, it's, it's something's going wrong at home like I said I tell my kids to tell me everything. I don't give a fuck what it is, if, especially when it's something important. Especially. You know, you saw in the other video where my six-year-old kept coming in. So I'm like, my brother's doing this, and he's pointing at me, and he's doing this and that and this and that. Okay, that's tedious, you know. That's getting it. But when mommy say tell, come and tell her everything. She don't mean come and tell her bullshit like that. I mean come and tell me. If your brother's slapping the shit out of you, make sure you come and tell me that. If he's tripping you and he thinks it's funny, come and tell me that. But what type of relationship do a mom have with her daughter? Do a father have with her child or his son that when teachers are sleeping with their students and you don't find out until months and months and months later, this shit is crazy. It's time for the parents, it's time for everyone to take responsibility for their own fucking, fucking actions. Just as simple as that. A child gonna be a child. You can't blame a child for what fucked up ass adults do. And I say this constantly all the time. I have said this to my own mother when we tried to come um, um, to a point where we could be cordial to each other and we could move past it. We couldn't move past it. You know why we couldn't move past it? Because she was making up fucked up ass excuses for what she did in the past. You can't make up an excuse for what you did in the past and you expect to move forward. Tell that child why it is or why what it is that you couldn't do or could do to change what happened in the past instead of making up fucked up excuses. Don't say, well, you know why I was that type of mother or I was that type of father because of what the system did to me or because of what my mom did to, to you. Fix the shit. Fix the shit. Be honest. Say, yep, I was a fucked up ass mama. I was on drugs. I, w I didn't know how to be a mother. I was in the street. Uh, I was a fucked up ass father. I was in jail, locked up, sold drugs. Whatever your situation is, explain that to your child. Because you know what? The, the problem that you 
put on that child, you're making it everybody else's problem. Everybody else. This is why you got kids killing kids. You got, um, 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 you know, innocent babies, you know, being hurt. You got adults that's trying to come help help these children. They can't help them because of the fucked up ass shit that they went through at home. It starts at home. Yes, it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a whole fucking community. I can't say it enough to support a parent. If you see my child out there doing something fucked up, don't wait till I come out the door a week later and you whispering to the neighbors like, yeah, damn, that little motherfucker she got over there, you know, was, was all in people's backyards and garage and taking this and then When bitch, you live right next door to me and you stay across the street and all you got to do is pick up the phone and call or come and knock on my door and tell me what it is that my child is doing. And then you wait till they get to the point that they have done something to you. Let these parents know what's going on. Be that community. Help them out. Every parent is not to blame for what their children have done. But if you're that parent and you know you got a fucked up ass kid, no matter what you, you've been there for them, you thick and thin, and you ain't trying to get the right help for them, then you're just as much to blame as what that child is doing. You know, you only can say, you know what, it's not the kid's fault for so much long to where you got to push that blame on the fucked up ass parent that don't want to get help for their issues. And then we, the public, has to go and deal with it. It's a fucked up ass situation. And the only thing I could say to you guys is talk to your children. Hug them. Kiss them. Love them. If you don't know how to do that, learn it. Learn how to do it. You know what? I got one better for you. Mama Diva, Real Mamas, I hold seminar, um, seminar classes, parenting classes every month. Every month. You are invited. I will help you to be the parent that you should be. I would help you talk to your children. If you're that child and you can't talk to your mom and your dad and you don't know what to do, give Real Mama a call. You know, you can you can leave a message for me here. Um, you can check out my Facebook page, Real Mamas. You can even call me. My number is 708-770-1377. You can text me, leave a message for me. I try to help everybody. And like I said, and I've said this several times before, I am not the perfect parent. I've had my own issues with my own children, but I can pat myself on the back that they have all turned out wonderful. They, the younger ones are, you know, following following in the footsteps of their older brothers and sisters, their siblings, and I, I broke the cycle. I learned to, to break that cycle. I'm going to tell you, I'm the first to tell you I came from a broken home. My father was an alcoholic, you know, God bless his soul, you know. My mom didn't know how to be a mother because she was abused and went through all kind of shit, but she should have learned when I, my mother didn't teach me shit. I had my oldest son at 18 years old. She didn't teach me a motherfucking thing. Everything I learned how and everything I knew, I learned from a book, I learned from TV, and I learned from asking other adults. If, if if they couldn't tell me, I was asking a doctor, well, why this, why that, this, that. I was picking up a book. I found out because I wanted to be the best mom that I could be. And, 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 you know, that, that's what, that's, that's our job. That's what you have to do as a parent. You have to be the best parent that you could be. And if you don't know how to be that parent, don't be afraid to ask for help. Inbox me. Subscribe to my channel. You know, I would help you out. I understand this video is going pretty long, but when you got issues like this, you, you have to do something about it. You really do. And, um, you know, I hope to, to um, see your comments and respond back to your comments and we're going to talk more you know about this and about you know abuse of parents and abuse in the school system and and you know so I understand that it's really hard to get help and do things like that but it's a parent's job you know to find out otherwise we raise these crazy kids that don't know how to control their anger. They don't know how to work out a problem. And you're making that problem 
everybody's problem and it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that you know i thank you all again i love you guys you know so much and thanks for you know um tuning in to real mamas you're talking to the number one mama diva mm -hmm. love you all god bless and ta-ta for now